How's everybody? How's everybody out there? How's everybody? How's everybody out there? Busy, busy, busy out there. Trying to find somewhere to go, something to do. Vlog here, vlog there. Where did the time go by today? As always, errand days on my off days, non errand days on my off days. Trying to figure out what I'm going to vlog today. Trying to figure out if it's boring today or the boring period. It's because I'm in a travel zone of the mind. I can't get out of my way. What is it? What is it? Because all the homework that I have to do, that I find that I have to try to figure out what I'm going to do. All the homework, watching the videos, watching how to do thumbnail, watching different videos of other people's videos. I'm trying to figure out where I fit in the scheme of things. Which is really not hard to do, but it's hard to do because you see so many videos of different types of people doing things, even on Instagram, TikTok. Some of the crazy things, some of the not so crazy things. And how do you fit, as I say, in the big scheme of things? Or how should I act in the big scheme of things? Or how should I present my video in this? big scheme of things when you have work you gotta do outside of YouTube what more can you say you know you work hard you come home you're tired sometimes you can do a vlog before work sometimes you can do a vlog after work then sometimes there's just not enough time you shift what you have to do in order to make time. You have to shift what you do for family. Sometimes you shift for friends. It depends on what type of video you want to do. Sometimes you can blend them in with it. But you don't try to too much get everyone, get everyone involved in what you do. You know, you know, a person can't worry about subscribers. You really can't worry about viewers either, for that matter. Uh, you just have to learn how to do things your own kind of way. And that's what I try to do. It's just ironic that no matter what video you watch in the tutorial thing, in the creative tool, Especially those uh, creators videos that come out on Tuesdays and some of the other videos that come out on how to fix your special camera, how to fix your cell phone, how to make it more better for the viewing public or better for yourself. There's so many countries and so many times. A lot of people think I'm a world traveler, even on down YouTube, but I'm not. I like to be a world traveler, but I do like to go to a lot of places. Probably like I said there's some other videos, but this is a new video. This is a new take. I'm slowing it down because I do put out a lot of those videos. And so 
when they talk about subscribers and talk about views, they say you don't worry about that. I don't worry about that. That's that's one thing I learned because in my life, when I see other people, you know, they're pretty small. They don't want to do too many things that that come out in the limelight. They don't want people to really recognize them, but yet you do want to be recognized. Here in so many countries, I have a long list of countries that I never went to, or countries that I would like to go back to. Now let's get into that a little bit. Let's get back to that a little bit and tell you exactly where I want to go. And I watch other people's videos and their resources. If you're a working in person, you know, I used to travel almost every three months, every four months. Now that I'm retired, I'm working again. You still need resources. You still need a job. And if you're a travel blogger, you've been there a while. Then that's a different story, but if you're a working person already, how can you incorporate it into the new lifestyle, which is not really new, but you just add it to make it seem like it's no big deal. It seems like you just blend right on in. So you already take pictures, and now you take more videos than you do still picture. The only difference is that I watch is when do I act crazy on it when I'm not very crazy. Can I be myself? Can I be serious? Do I have to be still? One of the countries that I added to my list pre-pandemic I don't know if I get there or not. Australia is on the list. It's not on the top of the list. I always like Canada. I've been to Jamaica once. I haven't been back. I like to go there. Bahamas. I've only been there once. I like to go back. And I'm still planning on my goal. And I don't care who knows it. Because it doesn't really matter if someone knows it or not. Because everyone videos differently. So in my case, as they say, you got to do it your own way. You really do. Nothing's the same. As I know when I wrote poems, yeah, I think I'll bring it up. That's one of the first things I did when I started my YouTube. I, I just want to put my poems out there, basically because I have a platform and I didn't like the way, even though my poems were better, I didn't like the way it was handled 20, 30 years ago. So I put it out there, I put it on the web, already copyrighted. So once it's out there, it's out there. Anyone want to read, read, introduce it? Cool. Then they can reproduce it. You know, copyright claims. I'm right about copyright claims. I'm right to put out poems, you gotta have a copyright. Now, as music that they play, I have to worry about copyright. You know, I wish things were differently, but I, I guess they're right about that. A lot of things that I. I the like the program. I should probably take this music thing off of here. I really don't want to see that right now. Uh, but 
But I'm here, slowing it down, because I did give a, a video once that was about an hour long, didn't know what I was talking about. Uh, I just wanted to prolong it and see what I come up with. But sometimes, you know, I don't want to be very coherent either. I just want to enjoy myself. There will come a time where I want to talk professional and there's a time that I want to play around. So instead of just doing it, I might as well talk about it. So these things have been on my mind for quite some time. So yes, I am kind of rambling, but there is an order to this whole thing about YouTube. This whole thing about people stealing other people's work and all that kind of stuff. But my only mindset is when I hit the CD video to find out that my fellow YouTubers that these kind of problems hot and how hard it is to get back. I don't know what to say about that. One thing for sure. One thing for sure is, and just another thing that uh, I would like to bring up is uh, ethics. Ethics while you're out in the field of blogging, how much a person should take when they're confronted with nonsense. What does the person have to do? You know, they always talk about walking away, being a Christian about it, and all that kind of stuff. Oh, that's all well and good. You know, it doesn't make no sense in America. So I'm going to address not just the nonsense here, but kind of nonsense all over the world where people travel. I know a lot of talks that talk about third world countries. But in actuality, the United States is a third world country when it comes to violence. We set, we set the presidents right here. Everyone watches this country but why in this country, the stuff been going on in other countries for a long time. So why is all this troublemaking going on? And the rest of the team, the flies. And when you're going there to visit because you love to see the country, you love this and love that. So us as travelers, when we go there, we have to worry about our well-being. People come here, they have to worry about their well-being. And so we try to find the best way to travel. The best way to do everything. I just find it uh, ironic that there are many, many things that a YouTuber has to worry about besides their tactical ability to protect themselves. A lot of them are there, talk about their camera and equipment, whether it's daylight, especially at night. They don't know what type of situation they're gonna run into. And all they're doing is trying to have fun. You don't know what people, what are on people's mind when you see their faces. A lot of the YouTubers are in other countries. But the only thing you know is beware, beware, and beware. <laughs> right, beware, beware, and beware. I mean, even when I blog in the street, sometimes I feel a little weird, you know. 
Let's see, look. I'm a local tourist. I'm here. You know. It's all well and good. Everyone is taking all kinds of pictures. For instance, when I first started vlogging, I went to the Santa Anita Mall over in that area. And it was right in the middle of the pandemic when I really started vlogging. And the security guard going, oh no, oh no, you can't take any video inside this mall. Now everything is closed down there. Everything is closed down in the mall. You don't see anything on You can barely see the stove. All they hear the little music going on. I, I barely got, I barely got a hundred, I barely got 50 yards in to the mall. Lo and behold, six months, seven months later, I go back, the video finally, no one approaches, no one anywhere. Everyone is taking pictures, eating food, and most of the stores are open at the same mall. And there I go, I take an even longer video. Of course, I'm conscious of it. And I'm always conscious when I go in these places. They say, well, how are these people gonna act? When everyone else is taking pictures, don't matter what, whether it's video or still or whatever, you know. Now I'm at an outdoor mall. I'm not gonna say what city because I kind of forget the name of the place, but it's out in the suburbs. Daylight, not covered, Christmas time. I'm taking videos, I'm walking around. And as I'm going out, I get there getting ready to start a little farmer's market <laughs> as I was going out. The lady, the, this female was a, was a security person. I said, what are you doing? Okay, what, what, what are you doing? I under shipped the camera off because I was leaving in the first place. Now, when you think about it, what has just happened there? I could go to get lost as outdoors, you know, because I'm that kind of person. I don't want to start no trouble with anybody about changing the picture. But I know that if I'm wearing a proper equipment and, and I had more people around me, they wouldn't have said a word to me one bit about anything. Even though you see people around there taking pictures. But yet, Sometimes we do have to worry about is this a private place? Is it open air? Is it really for us to do what the heck we want to do? Go in and just start taking video. Sometimes I don't want to video a certain area. Now let's just say what it is, Melrose, okay? I would like to walk Melrose, but I drove, I guess say a driving block down Melrose instead. Then all of a sudden you see all these crazy people getting robbed right there. I say, okay, what's going on here? This is supposed to be a mecca for people who travel out of town who want to go to either Melrose or Beverly Hills or Hollywood or anywhere else. But yet, you can't sit down and have a toast. That could be any one of us sitting down there in the USA of all places, the United States of America. And we still can enjoy ourselves and watching TV, watching everyone else being interrupted of their playtime. That is nonsense. So we as bloggers, we have to worry about that too. All of us have to worry about it. I don't care where we at or where we go. So what can I say about that? I think I said enough already tonight. About 20 minutes. I had to come on live. 
because I really didn't get to vlog, but I have a chance to do a little homework and figure out what I'm going to do in the next few days and weeks. Since I've been slowed down greatly by all the changes around my life that I knew was going to happen, some days I might be able to produce three, four, five, six billion the old. Uh, other times, even though I would like to do three, four, five, six videos a day if I could, but I can only do one. And sometimes I don't want to do the same old thing. And if I do go back, I find that it doesn't pay at least for me to do the same video. Of course, if I was in a great place, another time, place, and my life was a little bit more simpler, I do the same old video over and over and over and over again and not feel a thing about it. But one thing I do like to do is that I try not to do sometimes is I, I like to drive, drive and vlog sometimes without saying something. But a lot of times I think my spontaneity to drive a vlog, sometimes I'm going to have to talk because I do see enough people do these drive vlogs and they're not saying anything. It's just purely scenery. So yeah, I'm gonna be changing up here and there. And I'm gonna be doing things my way regardless of what everyone else thinks. Until I see something differently, I'm gonna do it. Because at my age, which is older than most, my age is older than most, but not some. The some is above my age. I got to get what all I can get, even if I have to act like a child and don't know what to say without a script, because I'm just being me, trying to rewrite myself in the real world. And this is Robin Deschamps speaking more slowly cautiously without any pre-recorded quips and all those other things except for the virtual backdrop of Zenobia a queen during the Roman time who was fighting the Romans but the Romans let her keep her crown and everything out of respect of her strong ability as a woman and not be afraid to be herself fighting back for what she believes. That's right, we got a woman behind me. It don't matter if it's a woman or a man. But Kick ass is what it's all about. And if I can kick ass, it's not a bad word in my own kind of way. That's exactly what I would do. Like I said, this is Robert Shunk, and I will see you in my next video. Talk to you later. Have a great day. Stay healthy and wise.